Hey guys, and welcome to Petrolped, and welcome to this week's Midweek 180. I am finally back home after a couple of weeks away, but if you've not seen one of these before, this is my Midweek Update, where I bring you my news, views, and information about upcoming reviews, all filmed in one take. I'm gonna put 180 seconds in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, and that's it, a very simple format. So, without further ado, let's get cracking with this week's Midweek 180. I shall start my timer. Well, leader of the pack last week was Stuart Parker. I think that might be a first for you, mate. And the famous five were Noisy Man X, Vinnie Vincent, Richard Earthy, and VXR Bandit. So whoever puts the first comment this week, you will be my leader of the pack next week. And the first five comments, you will be in my famous five. Uh, where are you and what you're doing? Well, that was two people. One blue meanie was hiding in the garden waiting for me to light the pizza oven last week. I can report we did have pizza last week and it was spectacular. Um, and then also VXR Bandit had nothing on but a bathrobe and was drinking Sauvignon Blanc. I'm a bit worried about that one, mate, but never mind. But wherever you are right now and whatever you're doing, put it in the comments below and I'll give you a shout out next week. Now, last week's question was about what modification you would like to do to your car. And first thing, there was a pretty much, there were so many comments, loads of different things. Common themes were um, exhaust, more power, nice wheels. But the common thing was worries about things like warranty and insurance. So when I, when I do my modifications to Ruby, one of the things I'm gonna cover is a conversation around warranty and insurance. Um, so uh, keep them peeled for that. I had more conversations this morning about what we're doing to Ruby. Very, very exciting stuff coming very soon. Uh, this week's question <clears throat> is, have you ever driven a car that redefined how you feel about driving or your driving ability? Because I have, because at the weekend I drove a McLaren 720S on track and quite frankly, it freaked me out. It was so fast and so good. Um, I, I, just, I just didn't really have the talent for it and it just made me really think about, I mean the car on the road is amazing as well, that video is coming very soon by the way, uh, but it really did make me think about driving and what, what I want out of a car because it, it sure isn't raw power like that because it was phenomenal, but I'd love to know what you think on that one. Um, F1 was from China last weekend. Uh, clearly, uh, Lewis won uh, with Valtteri Bottas second. Great uh, result for Mercedes, but the talking point has to be Ferrari team orders. Uh, you know, Leclerc being asked to move over for Vettel, and then kind of just through Red Bull doing well and Vettel coming in first for pit stops, he kind of got screwed over a little bit and, and ended up um, not nearly as high up the leaderboard as he should be. And I'd love to know what you think about that. I just think they should be allowed to race because actually I think Leclerc's got the pace on Vettel. Um, and it just tough luck for McLaren as well. Gutted really, both cars effectively taken out in the first lap. Um, uh, this week's car is this one, um, just uh, launched yesterday. Uh, the Aston Martin Rapid E headline figures are 610 PS and 950 newton meters of torque. That's 50 more than a DBS Superleggera. That will be mind bending. Apparently 310 miles of range, although not if you drive it like an Aston Martin should be, and only 155 units being made. Again, what do you think of that? I think really interesting Aston Martin. The one thing it won't have is that Aston Martin soundtrack that we all love. And then finally, this Friday's video at six is basically me chasing down a Ford GT in a Ferrari 812 super fast. <laughs> which um, I haven't edited yet, but yeah, it's a Ferrari themed video on Friday. I got to drive the Portofino on road and then went round the Goodwood Motor Circuit in an 812 super fast and that blew my mind as well. And it's not often you get to chase down a Ford GT, uh, well, not, I nearly said GT40, then Ford GT. Uh, but yes, uh, you need to tune in for that one. It's pretty special. And if you haven't seen it already, Monday's video was basically my coverage from the Enduro car race at Donington uh, a couple of weeks ago. So that's it, guys. I hope you've enjoyed that one. If you have done so, please give me a thumbs up. Comments below are always welcome. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to Petrobed for plenty more content to come. And I'll see you on the next film, which is this Friday at six for chasing down a Ford GT in a Ferrari 812 Superfast. It's pretty special. I'll see you on that one, guys. You take care. Drive safe.